WVU wants in on Hyperloop technology. It's trying to get Virgin Hyperloop One to build a testing facility in Morgantown. Money editor John Delano explains what it means for the region. West Virginia University's personal rapid transit car zoomed to 30 miles an hour. But WVU hopes soon to construct a Hyperloop testing facility where small wheelless pods in a vacuum tube can move people and products up to 600 miles an hour. We are looking for a home for a Hyperloop certification center. Um, and we are working with the state of West Virginia to understand how we can partner together to make that a reality. Los Angeles-based Virgin Hyperloop One says WVU's Morgantown campus is one of 20 sites under consideration to help test Hyperloop. The company's director of strategy says WVU is a top tier site. West Virginia University and the collaboration of academic partners, the professors that have been here today um, has been extremely exciting for us and very, very impressive. University officials see a perfect match. This is a new and different way of moving people and goods across the country. There are no frameworks today, and WVU brings the depth and the understanding from hundreds of years of um, engineering and overcoming complex engineering challenges. Now Hyperloop says it won't decide where its next testing and certification site will be until sometime in mid-2020. And after that, it's going to take a couple years before things are up and running. At West Virginia University in Morgantown, I'm John Delano, KDKA News.